I'm using Adobe Muse to make a website for Cat Chase. She's a hairstylist and she wants to put her Instagram feed on her website. So I'll come down here and I'm going to put the Instagram feed underneath this. Let's go to the browser. This is her website and she this is her Instagram feed and she wants these images on her website. So um, the when I looked Googled it, it said light widget is an easy way to make feed for your Instagram on your website. So um, if you're doing this for yourself or you're doing this for another client, you need to get that person's Instagram information, get in logged into Instagram, and then you can log into the light widget with their account. So you have to log into Instagram in order to log into light widget. They're, to, they're connected to Instagram. So um, once you log in, get in there i'm logged in i'm going to click on log in here it's going to show your client's face or whatever instagram image they have here they're going to have the username right here and then it's going to show you that this is the standard way of doing it three by three you can go in you can make grid slideshow columns you can do number of columns you can do i have well, let me see i have five columns and i've got 20 rows um, image hover effect, I did um, show captions. I wasn't really digging the other things. Then um, I didn't square crops um, because then that crops some of the um, images that are vertical into squares and then it makes it look really weird, kind of stretch, stretches it. Um, and then you preview and then you get the code. So you can preview, you can look up here at it. Let's just say number of columns. Um, like I said, I'm going to do five columns with 20 rows. And I want the show caption over it and padding of maybe five because I'm going to be doing this on a big desktop. Click preview and then this is what it's going to look like if it's that small. It's going to be a lot bigger than that. It's going to be a lot bigger. So when you hover over, you can see the little captions come up, which is really cute or nice or whatever. And then you go get code, and then this is the code that you put into Muse. Now, this is where it gets frustrating. Um, they're going to say, um, if you want it to work properly and stay on the website, you're going to have to pay $10. And I did that. That's fine. My client is worth it. And I, um, the thing is, once you get the email, they're going to give you this uh, code. Now, you don't have to come back in here and do another, you know, go in here, put your name, blah, 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 blah. Um, what is going to happen is you're going to get an email with information in it. And I recommend you putting it into a document, like a text document or notepad or whatever. Um, open it up, make it a text document, and then put here's your code, and this is the code that was generated. This is the code you'll always use. You won't use any other code. This is it. You'll go back to the website and change things there for this code. So changing the settings or format of how many columns and rows is changed at online at this. So you go here. You're going to keep this information. So let's say a year from now or a month from now or something, you want to change the look of this. You take that URL, paste it in, and then you wait. And then you can edit your widget here. Just pick new options, see the preview. If you're happy with the results, just press save and change button and that's it. You don't have to go back to the code. No need to change your widget code here. You've already got the code in your website. It's kind of like um, CSS where you're um, fixing it here, but it's messing with it on the website. If you see authorization pending in your widget, after clicking the preview, you need to authorize the access. So. Um, so this is what hers looked like. See, um, I already set it up for five and 20. And if I wanted to number of columns four and 20, then that would, that's what would happen. So right now, if you'll notice, I already have it there. I have five and 20 is one, two, three, la, 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 la. there's 20 of them. Okay. And if you hover over the second, first one, third one, you'll see little captions and you'll see a title come up over it. That's what that big old block of text is over that is the title. So if I clicked on this, it takes me to that page. 
And if I clicked on this one, it takes me to that page. Okay. So this is where she puts up all of her pictures of her hairstylings and she gets, this is marketing 101, you know, put all these up and then people will go, oh man, I want her to do my hair. So this is great for marketing. Okay. So uh, let's go back. This is the um, code that was sent to me in the email. I'm going to copy that and open up my Muse and I have a master home page. I'm going to open that up and I'm going to do object insert HTML. I'm going to paste the HTML right in there. I'm going to press OK. And that's how you put HTML into Muse. Wait a couple seconds. Now I'm going to put this over here. And I'm going to drag the middle over to the right. And I might drag this up just a little bit closer to the title. And see if it propagates, if it comes through. There we go. So Adobe Muse is showing what it's going to look like. And we're good to go. So now you can publish it. You can click on the drop down FTP host and then upload it to your website. And then there you go.